Okay, here you go. Um, one of the decorative pieces for the steampunk box mod in better detail than I was able to show you before. That's the front, obviously, the facing facing piece, the obverse. I just put that around. You see the reverse. Um, this one, I'm not painting the reverse. Um, normally, I would do the whole thing. Focus down there. we go. Um, but on the other side, I'll show you, you'll see what I mean. There we go, here's another one. Try and get this into focus. Come on, sweetie, you can do it. And there you go. The undercoat. And the reverse. So, and there's another one there as well. Finding it's a little bit difficult actually on the, there. So here we go. Come on. It's because you can see other things in the distance. There we go. And the reverse the bit that we stuck down. So, come on, come on, focus. Pull back the focus a bit. You'll remember this, you've seen it a few times. The old mod. So, you have an idea what's going to go on with it. I'm not sure if I'm going to put them on the top here. I'll actually, have a key like I will actually, in fact, because. <sighs> oh, my bottom just done puck it up. I dropped that. Okay. Um, right. So which one I'm going to be using it? I'm using. I'm right-handed, so I'm using that. I'm going to put the bits on the top. Okay. As I said, this is a complete experiment from the get-go. Um, so let's put some of our finished pieces on the mod itself. Put that back into focus. You know what I can do with this? Actually, one thing I haven't thought about is the fact that I can actually turn this around. So. Um, there we go. Look at that. There we go. So, now I've got other odds and sods in here as well. A few little pieces. I don't know if you can even see them at all. In there. That will be made into various other parts and button in there as well. I'm going to put a clock face on it. This is one of the sort of constituent parts of Steampunk is clockwork as well as, you know, steam works. Um, and, I don't know, probably something along these lines. Um, once I've got these other two parts painted up, um, perhaps something like, I don't know, um, this. It's sort of giving it something more interesting to look at now rather than just a box. There is something else I wanted to show you, which, of course, as unprepared as I generally am, I've not got out, but I'm going to brass strip the edges um, all along. Uh, so not quite sure what I want to do with the hinges here, because uh, that will pose some of the problem, but I might just infill um, these little bits. And I obviously, I want to put hands on this clock face. Um, I might do something along the sides. Um, the other thing I will be doing is I have an old watch. I broke apart for parts, and the winding knob will go onto that button to give it a bit more period look, as it were. So there you go. I have been busy. Um, nothing super fancy as such, but what I'm going to do, experiment number two, is. I have this. You'll all recognise it as a Z Max. It's my personal Z Max. And he's broke it. Well, it's not broken. That bit's broken. And I've got two of these. So I'm going to see if I can pull the board out in the LED 
and put it into number two. Or mark three, probably. Because I did enjoy the LZ Max, it had a really good menu system. And uh, yeah, there you go. Ah. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to glue some pieces on. Um, do them just yet, so I need to paint them up before putting them on. So let's have a look, see what we can do here. There you go, that's that bit. Get some glue. For everyone that hasn't dried up. There we go. because this paint acts as a seal. Oh, stinks. Give me space for my edging. That's on there, no? There, yeah, he's on there. Why is that a secondary piece now? I think it looks best actually. I think that would look pretty rad about there. Take a little shape, I'm kinda actually quite jumping with that. So I'm looking forward to getting these bits on now. Um seems really good. I haven't got my glasses on, this is a real stupid thing. If you need glasses, make sure you bling in well when doing this sort of thing if you decide to take a mod make it. Victorian style, ooh, Victorian style type hard drive thing. <laughs> I'm going to run away now and look up designs for hard drives. Ooh, 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 <laughs> big. <clears throat> so here we go, a little bit of movement button changed to the old watch button, looks a little bit more. Steampunky. Of course, the old first movement that's painted up, already put on. And look, we have watching hands. In the future, I want to be able to make that work. So as you press that, that'll spin around. Let's just figure out how to do that. Hopefully, this top one will glow in the dark. Hmm, here's hoping. See you in a bit. Yeah, that mofo glows. Three, the vaping in the dark. <laughs> So there you go, one very pretty looking, you could, I could almost just use it like that, but I'm going to do more, some more of these are going to go on to it, come down here into a nice little sort of shell, sort of circular motif, fill up this gap, do something on the top here, I've got an idea, I'm going to get two brass nuts, and a little bit of green clay translucent rod, and make like a his leg coil sort of thing. Filling this idea down to the switch with something. If 
Probably the same there, and of course, the reverse. Being quite plain as well, that's gonna. I don't know actually, because you may want to store it like that. <coughs> Home. There's a girl sort of like thing. As you can hear, there's all the cracking going on. Well, I've done this bias edging and infilling. You can see it there. It doesn't quite work. Well, that's the whole point of this. It's an experiment. And uh, we iron out the mistakes as we go. But I thought this was quite a cool idea. Was actually putting the original clock casing from this clock face I found where that glow in the dark clock arm came from on top of that, however, of course it has a bezeled well, it's, I don't know, remove a good inch of material from there to fit it on there, because that was already stuck on it as well as the clock face and that um, as you can see, I've forgotten to put something on the centre there, but like I said, it's all things to just take away and make the second set, which leads me nicely on to this, look at that, second circuit, that's live, that's already been put up on Just Vapes, you see it for yourself, and it works, and of course, walk across the man cave, there's the box, so that's now ready to be glued together, sanded into shape. <laughs> Battery already ready there. Get in there and uh, make another box mod. So we'll see how things go after all of that. <coughs> now, of course, <coughs> the thing about this one is it works. Bloody awful smoke rings there, but it works. That's the thing. I said, an experiment from the start, so it all works. I'm happy with my one. That's going to be my one. So, if I'm, like I said, I could even probably leave it the way it is. F for me. But obviously, I want to make something a bit more spectacular for you lot. Right, that's it for now. Experiment continuing. Please.